but 99.9 tenths percent of the time. If it's in my power to keep my word, my word is my bond. So to my colleagues, I say to you, you do what you have to do, but know that I respect you in whatever you may do today, because I know that you too have the best interest of Volusia County at heart here. And it's not about elections. It's about what's good for all of us. So I thank you. I will be voting today because I feel committed that I must do those things that I have indicated and promised that I would do. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Patterson. <clears throat> thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, you know, I came to Volusia County in 1985, and I was born and raised in Florida, part of that 35% gang of those who were of us up here that were born and raised in Florida. I've always lived on a beach. I, I get a lot of email. I guess they suggest that I came from Missouri or something. I don't know a darn thing about what a beach is or what it does or what he's supposed to do, but I do know the beach. I, I know I had enough high school teachers wondering where I was when I was out surfing on the beach from Fort Pierce to Coco many years ago. My grade point average when I graduated from high school reflected that also. Um, but one of the things I noticed when I came up here in 1985, I was a single guy and I had two kids and I'd bring my two children up here from Fort Pierce and I'll tell you, it, I didn't enjoy the beach. I didn't enjoy it one bit in Daytona Beach because of the cars and having to constantly pay attention and worry about them and the fact. And yeah, that I'm a responsible parent. I'm, a lot of people know my background's in early childhood education. I'm all about kids. Uh, I've got four kids and nine grandchildren. That's my brag at the moment here. Um, but I, I didn't enjoy it. I really didn't enjoy it. I moved over here after I got married. I've enjoyed the land. Um, I had a t-shirt made that said I wasn't born in West Volusia, but I got here as fast as I could. <laughs> but I think having many opportunities out there for the beach is what, it's, that's where I've been. I've been consistent on this issue since 1996 when we took the cars off the beach in that core area, the Andy Romano Park. There I've been consistent on that. And I'm gonna remain consistent that I think we need to have a beach that's for everybody. It's not just about the cars. It's just not about, you know, everything. It, it, it just amazes me. I hear the comment, I, I've got an email saying this is about greed. Folks, greed is not just money. Greed is about resources. And we have people who think that the only resource we should do with that beach is run a car up and down the darn thing. We talk about privatization. It's not about privatization where somebody owns a piece of the beach. But look at privatization for the fact that you got people who think the only thing that should be on the beach is cars and people running around. So this is what's really bothered me about this whole issue. We need to think about everybody. This beach is about everybody, just like the springs belong to everybody. Over here in Zillion Springs, uh, Blue Springs, Gemini Springs, you go out there, people get out of the car and they carry a whole bunch of stuff to enjoy the springs. No different than somebody having to kill something out of there, across, uh, down off of the east side of the beach, down to the beach. It's no different. And, but we have people over here in the springs, they're having a wonderful time, and families. It is fabulous. If you haven't been to any of our springs over here, you ought to do it. You ought to really see what it's all about. It's, it's a safe place for kids, it's a safe place for adults, and I want the beach to be the same way. So I really want to bring this to vote. I'd like to see this go. I'm going to let you go ahead, Jason. But thank you very much. And uh, this is this is important to me in, in seeing the development that we're going to get, seeing that there's an opportunity for some additional locations for off-beach parking and people that can get on the beach and not have to worry about the kids constantly while they're there. But the only thing you have to worry about is the kid getting too far out in the water. That's what I want to have to worry about. Thank you. And that's our lifeguard's job. Make sure that happens. And the, and the parents, yeah. You know, uh, I'm going to make some comments and then I'm going to go for the vote. We're going to call for the vote here. You know, everybody wants to sit there and say, this is economic development, this is not economic development. Oh, leave the cars, don't do this. Let me tell you something, folks. It's 
saving the way. Your ep economic development problems or benefits have really nothing to do with the beach. It is your cities and your local municipalities that either clean up the cities, clean up the streets, fix those roads, because you know what? We don't have that jurisdiction there. They're very, my microphone is not close. There's some, we have jurisdiction in, but most of the areas are run by the cities. So it's their job. And if this thing passes, I will be expecting those cities, the city of Daytona Beach, to step up to the plate and clean up the area. Let's get this really fixed. So it's not about cars or no cars. And you know, all day long I've heard about let pollution vote, let pollution vote. Well, you did. And we are here. We live in a representative democracy. This is why we have these kinds of things and it's called elections. And the issue that uh, I've been brought up about the let Volusia vote on this one particular issue is not something I was really, I allowed it, but it's not really for this discussion. So we'll have that discussion at a later date. Um, you know, you're right, Nancy Reagan said, just say no. You are correct. She was referring to dope, crack, marijuana, and all kinds <coughs> of other bad things. Why don't we look at another Reagan? How about Ronald Reagan? And he is quoted as saying, if not us, who? And if not, when? So are we willing to kick this can down the road another 20, 30 years? Are we willing to say, well, it's, you know, cars do all this or cars don't do all that? No, I don't think it's, I think it's time that we set the standard. And that's all this, this one ordinance is doing. This sets the standard for future issues on this matter. <coughs> you know, that, that's all it does. So, um, you know, I've heard a lot about, I wrote a whole laundry list of things here, but uh, you know what, I don't think I want to tear it, waste any more time than anybody else. So I am going to, I was going to call for the vote there. And her little light popped on. You wish to have some comments, ma'am, before I call for the vote? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Yes, just briefly. Was it a year ago when the Western was before us and voted it? No, I voted against it then. I voted against it then because it was bad for the citizens because of the trade-off at that particular time. Was uh, in trade in trade-off for taking cars off the beach, we will give you a vacant dirt lot across a one a five lanes of traffic and our citizens had to pay to approve it. That's not a good deal. That wasn't good then, it's not good now. Things have changed. And please understand, we're not taking, this is not countywide, this is for a specific area of the beach. This is a specific zone. And Mr. Daniels, I don't support taking cars off the beach and hopefully this will fall flat in the future. The only reason I'm supporting this is because what my colleagues have said and because it's looking at the big picture this is for a specific defined core zone that we're setting standards and truthfully if this had been done 10 15 20 25 years ago we wouldn't be here now this is obviously the third rail of political politics here in Volusia County it is I get it but at the same time it can't go understated that we are increasing access we are increasing access beachside, oceanside, and increasing ADA availability, compliance, and the beach chairs. We, there, there's a huge commitment, not just from the developers, but from the council. And when I use those chairs, and, and I'll tell you where we kept them in New Smyrna Beach, was at the lifeguard station. And it was wonderful. I would call them. I, I left my father in his ramp van. He had his, 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 his wheelchair. I would go over to the lifeguard station, get the, get the beach chair, take it back over to the van, right there in the parking lot, put my father in it, we'd take him down to the beach, we'd wheel him over to the breakers for lunch. It was wonderful. So there are things that we need to strengthen. We, uh, there's a commitment that you're hearing from this council and staff and the developers to continue to make that happen because we are weak on some of those areas on, on the ADA and, and helping certain folks get uh, uh, access to the beach in that area of enjoyment. So I, uh, 
As I vote today, I am going to vote for a set of standards in a specific area only. Bringing anything else in front of council um, is, is that that's different. This is for a specific area only on this ordinance, and and the way it's you know it. it the way it's happened in the past, I wasn't here when Brian Gillespie and all those all those other things happened. Most of us weren't here, weren't involved in that. Were they bad times? They were. Nobody starts out wanting to fail. If I didn't see success in the future, I wouldn't support it. Because we talked about this just briefly. Vision in hindsight is always twenty twenty, but. Having the vision for foresight, is it a risk? It is. But the greater the risk, the greater the reward. I understand that too. So for those of you that think I went back on a campaign promise, I voted no back then because it, then it was a bad deal. This is not the best it's not. But the potential for success, not just for Daytona Beach, and I agree with you, we talked about the cities. Um, Mr. Chair, I agree with you. Code compliance, I think this is a message to the city of Daytona Beach. I expect to see, especially some of these other things, projects coming our way, and we're talking about CRAs and code compliance and we want to see historical data. I want to see code compliance. They, they have got to come to the table with code compliance. But I think what we're going to see, what I hope, and I'm going to, I'm going to look for success. It's not that we're just getting to yes, it's the success. In three, four, five years, if this is a failure, well, you know, there you go. I don't think corporations of this size are going to make the hundreds of millions of dollars of investment in our area to fail. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. I don't invest $100 to fail. I don't know about you, but I take that very seriously. So, so going forward, I've looked at this, this is, a hard, this is the hardest issue I have ever dealt with. It genuinely is. Don't think it isn't, it is. It absolutely is. It's a difficult decision for all of us because you can argue it both ways. You can. But at the end of the day, we're setting standards that have never been done before ever in Volusia County. We're setting standards for a defined core zone. We know what the standards are. So if somebody else wants to come before us, and look at this opportunity, they know what they're going to have to come to the table with. And they, they, they know what they know what the standards are. So for the citizens involved, I know it's passionate. I live in a beach town, and, and for, for Southeast Volusia and District 3, the issue is an access, it's accommodation, to accommodate for all the cars. That's a conversation for another day that we will have, but the issue is accommodation, not access. But the commitment is there nonetheless. Uh, from this council and, and from the residents and those going forward. So thank you, Mr. Chair, that's all. Okay, and seeing no further discussion or lights from the county council, I will call for a roll call vote, and I shall go first. Mr. Davis? I vote yes. Ms. Dennis? Yes. Mr. Lowry? Yes. Mr. Patterson? Yes. Mr. Wagner? Yes. Mr. Daniels? Yes. Ms. Cusack? No. It's a 6 1 vote with Ms. Cusack opposed. Very well. Item 2015 06 has passed. Item 2015 07. I know, uh, and I see that. Mr. Wagner, you have the floor. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the motion after this one, but first, uh, this is the Weston Ordinance. Uh, I want to go ahead and, and thank Council uh, Jim Morris for uh, his work on this to get it to a point. I know there's some things you've done uh, to get this project to where we could support it. Uh, you know, it's almost a year ago that I called you, I think, on a Sunday night and apologized, saying I changed my vote and I was part of the group that killed the project. My boss wanted to uh, let you know. I told you at some point I would probably try to find a way to uh, thank you and your family for, for sticking with it. Um, hopefully this passes. Um, but I want to thank you for your hard work. Um, and this is for both, as far as the next motion, Mr. Hyde Brown, I want to thank you for your passionate speech, uh, I believe, and everything you said. So thank you for that and for speaking up for everybody. 
uh, and for all the phone calls as far as uh, moving this forward. So on that, I'm going to go ahead and put a motion to uh, support. Uh, you mean a motion of approval? Motion of approval for uh, this item. Thank you. I have, a motion, I have a motion of approval for, for ordinance 2015-07. Uh, motion by Mr. Wagner, second by Mr. Flowery. Any further discussion? Okay, seeing no further discussion, we will once again call for a roll call vote. Yes. Ms. Stennis? Yes. Mr. Lowry? Yes. Mr. Patterson? Yes. Mr. Wagner? Yes. Mr. Daniels? Yes. Ms. Kuzak? No. Again, a 6 1 uh, vote. Ms. Kuzak opposed. Very well. And uh, ordinance. And hey, this is the chair. The chair? Yeah, you need to consider doing the contract next. Oh, did we? Yeah, I keep forgetting we don't have this contract. I thought the contract was in, included. Okay. We need to do a severance. We have to do the contract on we'll separate. Do so this time. is. Can't do the last time. Okay, I thought it was all appropriate. Okay, so now we have to entertain a motion or. Move approval of the contract. We're going to move an approval for a, a contract. Please restate the contract, Ms. Seaman. Or just the abridged version, so to speak. It's for the purchase of the property just to the south of the Western, owned by 834 North Atlantic uh, LLC, and for a transfer of funds with the general fund account number 0011506100 for uh, payment, as well as authorizing the chair and manager to execute all documents for closing. Okay, so so, so stay at the motion. I'm never going to repeat that. We have a motion for approval, Mr. Wagner. Second. I have a second for Mr. Patterson. And Mr. Wagner still on the floor? Nope. Turn his line out, please. Thank you, sir. Okay, seeing no further discussion, we will once again hold the roll call. Mr. Davis? Yes. Ms. Dennis? Yes. Mr. Lowry? Yes. Mr. Patterson? Yes. Mr. Wagner? Yes. Mr. Daniels? Yes. Ms. Cusack? Yes. 7 0 vote. Unanimous. Now may I go to 2015-08, correct? Mr. Denise? Yes, correct. Okay, thank you. All right, ordinance 2015-08, which pertains to the Hard Rock Hotel and their health and uh, that ordinance. By Mr. Wagner. Yes, I'm gonna put a motion out there uh, to prove that before I do that, I want to thank council, uh, Glenn Storch, for your work to get this done uh, to a level that I think is a, a good a good deal. Um, I think the owners, I want to thank the owners for sticking with us. Uh, the last meeting at Daytona Beach, I've had to apologize twice when I grabbed him by his shoulders and said, stick, you know, so that was a nice moment. But uh, thank you for being there and helping with that. Um, I think this is, this is a big deal. Uh, the Hard Rock has become, for economic development, the barometer, strangely, uh, for getting stuff done. And I think this sends a good message out that, that I appreciate. So thank you. And I'll go ahead and put the motion to you. Motion for approval from Mr. Wagner. Second. Second by Ms. Denny. Any further discussion? Seeing none, roll call vote, please. Mr. Davis? Yes. Ms. Dennis? Yes. Mr. Lowry? Yes. Mr. Patterson? Yes. Mr. Wagner? Yes. Mr. Daniels? Yes. Ms. Cusack? No. 6 1 with Ms. Cusack opposed. Very well. So there we go. Uh, item number two has been heard in and uh, voted on. Do we have any other business with that uh, issue there? Are we done with that? We're done with that one and you're, you're going to break and then yeah, we the other two items up. will come up after you. After yeah. you're going to take a little lunch break uh, where it's going to be everybody else. Yeah. So we will be in recess until 3 o'clock.